One of the questions we get a lot is about our straw bale gardening and how we use it to grow our cucumbers, as you see the sign there of cucumbers. And this year we actually tried it with our zucchini. Now believe it or not, underneath this mass of foliage is a couple of crates that we've taken an ordinary straw bale, actually two in each of these crates, and then planted three cucumber plants and three zucchini plants. Um, it's a great way in our garden to get some extra produce and a really, really easy way to grow anywhere. Um, but I wanted to kind of go over some of the things we do to get them to this point. So we start in the spring with the crate underneath and we take these ordinary straw bales here and we'll just take an area and I'll show you kind of my hand right here and we'll take a reciprocating saw or a sharp knife and we'll cut out three holes about the size of that pot, um, about six to eight inches in diameter, um, about six to eight, probably maybe eight to 10 inches deep and we'll make them in a triangle. So we'll do one here, one where that is, and then one on this side. And then we'll plant our cucumber plants down in there with a mix of soil, compost, and of course our famous worm castings. We, we use worm castings everywhere, and I'll talk about that in a bit when it comes to the fertilization of these straw bales throughout the season. But we plant them, and then we have to water them. Um, a lot of people have tried this method, and if they have uh, any trouble at all, it usually comes down to not watering or fertilizing in the season. But really, you have to treat the straw bales as a hanging basket or a container plant. So we water almost every day. And one of the things we do early on, and I'll show you here, you see this little stake, and I kind of show it here. We put these in where we plant our plants so that once they grow huge, we know where to water. Vining plants are kind of hard to find uh, where they actually go into the straw bale at. And if you're like me, uh, your memory starts to go by midsummer, so you're not really sure where they were. But uh, we'll come in and we'll water these daily. And then once a week, we'll use an application of compost tea or our worm casting tea. And really all that is, is we take a bucket of uh, compost, we mix in a five gallon bucket, we'll mix in water with maybe three or four shovelfuls, fill the bucket about half up with compost, let it steep for a few days. And that's a great liquid fertilizer for these plants. And as you can see, they have just taken off. We've already this year probably had about three bushel, I think, of zucchini. You can see them on there. We're picking almost every day. They're loaded through these straw bales. Um, and you can see the bloom still continuing to come on. Um, like I said, about three bushel already of that and two bushel of the cucumbers. But it's just really a great way to grow without any trouble. As long as you water them, uh, as long as you fertilize, and we use that uh, compost tea or worm casting tea um, once a week for about the first six to eight weeks and then every other week after that to keep these growing. But as you can see, no issue at all with the growth. Um, the only other question we get sometimes is do we condition our straw bales? Conditioning is really the process of getting a straw bale out and making it uh, become older. We don't. Um, we planted our straw bales this year. They were fresh. Uh, we've never had a problem with the soil mixture we add. And by the end of the year, you'll see as I kind of pan back here, this will take up our entire space. We won't even see it. It'll grow to the top of the wall. And boy, we're on pace this year probably to get five to 10 bushels each from just these few plants. So that's how we grow in straw bales here in the back of our raised row garden. Happy gardening.